All right, so today's learning plan is learning plan eight, graphic styles and symbols. All right, project five is label, and I'm gonna show you the rubric and I'm gonna to talk to you about it. Um, but here's what we're doing. So today I'm assigning this label and packaging. It's not due for two weeks, and this is a big one. This counts for a lot of points. This has a lot of cool stuff in it. So you have two weeks, plus it's due at the end of class in two weeks, meaning, like I told you, I'm only gonna be lecturing on single chapters going forward, which means we'll probably be done by nine. So you'll have from nine to noon in class to work on these things, but it's due at the end of class on the 10th. Um, <laughs> but next Tuesday the 3rd, I am gonna talk about something else. And I'm going to give you your final two assignments that are eventually due in the last two weeks. But for right now, the only one you know about is the label project. And the rubric is here. And eventually it'll open. Here we go. A couple of keywords. Challenging. This is not a get it done in two minutes kind of a project. Um, have you guys noticed all the bottles over here? <laughs> it make you wonder what we do in this class. This is the project. You're going to be doing packaging for a wine bottle, a beer bottle, or if this is not something you like and you don't want to do this, a photo bottle. It might be more cute. Tea. This one might have. If you want to make a tea box label, notice this one's kind of above and beyond because they did everything. This might be for a more advanced class, actually, a packaging class. But at a minimum, you would have to do um, a front and a back label for a tea box. So here's some examples. I want you to look at these when we're done talking, but there's some pretty cool stuff. So up there, all of the expected text on the front and back label. Please remember this. It's two separate things. Also, true size. Don't make an 1117 or 8 half by 11 artboard. Make your label because it's big and you can see it. That is not wrapping on a wine bottle or a beer bottle. So take some measurements, figure it out, and set up your artboards to the correct size. Don't give me an 8 half by 11 artboard with your art sitting on a big white piece of paper. That's not the way Illustrator works. Everything on your artboard prints. So they have to be the correct sizes. Um, file size should be true to life. This project emphasizes the use of text, symbols, drawings, graphic styles, and creative manner. All advanced level detail from everything you've learned thus far, which is all sorts of stuff. Um, gonna give you points for doing cool stuff, basically. <laughs> Um, challenging. This project displays the ability to work on your own. Level of challenge and effort is clear. That should maybe be highlighted too. So if you look over there, you're going to see something go, I bet they made that in like an hour. They also didn't do very well. Okay. Have fun with this. This is almost always a portfolio piece that people are really proud of and want to put in their portfolio and or take the bottle physically to their portfolio show because they're really excited about it. You don't have to mount it on a bottle, but people got into that one year and all of a sudden we <laughs> all these bottles show up. Um, you don't have to, but it sure looks cool when you do it. So you can do it. You can, yeah. absolutely. Um, empty bottles, please. <laughs> I know when people walk by here, they're like, oh, right. look what's fun in there. So. Um, do you have any questions or concerns? You have all of the rest of the day today to work on it. Next week, you're going to have at least three hours, and it's not due till the end of the class the next week. However, we are learning new things, and I'm hitting you with two new projects. A web banner that we're going to learn about next week, frankly, is going to be easy. After we do it, you'll be able to output one quite quickly. And then your capstone project is the house. So you've seen those back there um, where you take a photograph, use it as a template layer, and then you make a house. That is the final final. I'll be giving you the rubric for that next week. 
if you want to start working on it or playing around with it, you can. Basically, it's show me what you got. Um, use a template layer. Don't use all the symbols. Don't spray up. Don't make your picture look cool because you used 15 tree symbols and 15 plant symbols and 15 cars. I'm focusing on your house, how awesome you make the house, okay? Um, but also, don't just give me a house on a white sheet of paper. You know, put some stuff behind it, skies and landscaping and whatnot. There's going to be a lot of work time in class and obviously the other class time too, okay? Is this something that we're completely creating it can, ourselves? Yeah. Is it it can be something that does not exist, or it can be a recreation, like you can look at one that you like and say, I'm gonna make that. Okay. Just don't look at something that's pure text and it's a script because it's a California wine that's been around forever and all it is is the name of it in the script. Look, do something fun. Craft beer is incredible. Go to the Piggly Wiggly, no matter what age you are, you can do that and go stand over by the craft beer section and look at the labeling. It's insane, it's so fun. If you wanna Google something right now, look up Carbon 4 Brewery. Carbon four. Boom. Their labels are. Crazy. Google this. Yeah, I mean there there are so many cool options, but yes, you can one hundred percent make up a wine or a beer. Carbon F O U R or the number. K A R B E N four. Oh, K A R B E N four dot com. Labels. Whoops, gotta spell it right. K A R B E N four. Loading yo. Okay. I am 21. Where would we see a bunch of them? I just want to Google and do some labels. Oh, okay. Let me just tell you. This is the company behind this? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Here's proof of good packaging. I saw that. I laughed. I thought it was hilarious. I bought a six pack. I hate the beer. <laughs> I dumped it down the drain. <laughs> but packaging worked. <laughs> it is really. A bit too hot. And it's horrible. <laughs> Let's do like that. So, packaging matters. You're going to have to look at these. If you do wine, beer, or tea, what's expected? What are some things that we always see on alcohol labels? APV? Yeah. Alcohol content. Yeah. Yeah. Ounces. Usually where it's grown shows up on there somehow. Think a government warning has to be on those labels. Yep. So do some research. If you're not old enough to go look at it and hold it in your hands, do some Googling of details. But like I said, you can go to Piggly Wiggly and stand in front of the wine and beer section and just be amazed at packaging. That's like my favorite thing to do is look at packaging. So have fun with it. I'm sure you're going to make a dog beer for us, aren't you? Just to keep in the theme. <laughs> <laughs> How about a dog right riding or a lizard riding a dog? You can do this one. So remember, keep this illustrator skills, wow me, have fun with it. Type, effects, graphic styles, maybe a symbol. Um, remember their spell check? Let's not have typos. Let somebody else take a peek too. So, questions? Okay, have fun. Start making cool stuff. Sure. And have a great Thanksgiving also. You should also check out Body Goods. I, I adore this label. What is it? Body? Body Goods. B O D D I N G. B O D D I N G T O N S. Yep. Body Goods. Oh, hell. I adore the packaging on this. It's just the label. <laughs> Oh, for crying out loud. I don't want to do this. I'm not typing that in. I'm not admitting my name right now. Craft beer labels. Images. There you go. Just in case you can't go look at them in real life. Okay. Feel free to look at those past examples. Some are better than others. Some forgot the back panel. Some did a little panel around the neck, which is cool too. Um, and remember to make them true to size. You need to do some measuring. And if your label is eight and a half by 11, because you weren't thinking, don't tell me that it's like a jug of wine and I'm wrong. 
because we're not doing that. <laughs> I've heard that before too. <laughs> it's a big wine. I'm like, no, you like didn't think. <laughs> a gallon jug of milk with a wine label? Yeah, no. Traditional wine bottle size. Yeah. I have, I have traditional jugs. I know, everybody <laughs> does, but we're, we're doing this size. <laughs> what about a growler? I just a growler just label. Well, yeah, it would be cool, but it's basically the same thing, so it's just physically bigger. So. I'm just getting anxiety.